Hi hey guys, welcome to Blair's Boot Camp. Happy Saturday. And it's the Saturday before Easter, so go, guess what we've got today? We have got body weight, cardio, and conditioning. No equipment needed today, just yourself, some water, and if you've got a mat, brilliant. Make sure you've cleared a bit of space, free to move, because we've got some jumps today. We're going to try and go to get. I can't barely speak. I'm trying to do those skater jumps today. And if a cat comes in or you see me looking at it's because cats are quite interested of what's going on in the room. <laughs> They're creeping on me, just checking out in the doorway. Alright, okay, let's get started, let's get warmed up, let's shake the legs out, come in position, put your feet shoulder width apart, you're going to roll your head down towards the ground, head first, keep your legs straight, roll all the way down, keep the legs straight, tap the ground, and roll up. And it's the last thing to come up. Good. And again, down. And roll up. Take a deep breath in. Come into that squat. Take a deep breath in. And sit down in that position. Use your elbows to push those knees out. Sit into your heels, push your bum back. Hands on the ground, stick your bum in the air, straighten those legs. And roll up. Good. And reach up at the right and left. That's it. Cross, relax back, shoulders back, and shoulder roll back from me. One, two, three, and four, and going forward. Four, three, good. Two, and one. Open up the chest. Keep a slight bend in those elbows, and reach across. Come on, really reach across. You're jabbing across, and tap, and up, let's go. And shake it out, good, grab left leg, come into that quadricep stretch, knees together, find that balance. Shoulders back, and breathe. Tilt the pelvis forward, good. Bring that knee forward. Good. Shoulders back. Take the leg out to the side to 45 degrees and hold. Shift your weight onto the right leg. Let go of your left and hold. And we're going to crunch. We're going to bring that knee up. We're going to really squeeze those obliques. Are you ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back to the center and down. Uh, good. Switch to the other leg. Come that quadricep stretch. Bring that balance. Knees together. Tilt the pelvis forward, shoulders down, bring that knee forward, all the way up, good, take it out to the side, 45 degrees, weight into the left leg, let go to the right, same again, are you ready, Three, two. One, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more, eight. That's the center. And down. Good. Some cutsy lunges for me. 
just to warm up those legs. Good, bring that knee towards the ground. That's it. And good, shake the legs out, grab some water. Okay, first up we're gonna do skater jumps. Are we gonna do skater jumps for 30 seconds? So we're gonna be on that left leg, right leg's off the ground, I'm gonna leap across the room, landing on my toes, landing on my right leg, hinged at the hips, pushing the weight back into my bum, and then across the other side. My knee's bent the entire time. I'm gonna try and move quickly. Move slowly at the beginning, get your balance, and then you're a bit more confident. Try and get a bit further in your distance. I'm gonna do that for 30 seconds, and then you're gonna stop where you are, and you're just gonna squat. You can come down, push that bum back to the back of the room. Body weight squats, and we're gonna do 30 seconds worth of those, okay? Again, stay slow at the beginning, just to get your balance, to get your technique right and then increase the pace. We're doing four rounds of this. No rest. So are you ready? I'm gonna start on that left leg, reaching across on that right. Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Make sure your body comes over that leg. You're not at an angle. Up and down. Up, up. Push off the ground. Squat. Let's go. That's it. Good. Good, come on. Push those bones back. That's it. Let's go. Come on. I'm increasing that metabolism so I can enjoy that Easter egg and that roast lamb tomorrow. Come on. Come on, just do what you can, but just keep moving. Back to squats, let's go. That's it. You're doing great. Come on. Really good. Come on. Ready? Wanna sleep? Use your hands to bring yourself across. Come on. the heels. Knees out towards the toes. We've got one more round. You ready? Let's go. Come on. Work on those quads. Push. Almost there. Let's 
squats. Oh. Oh. Good. Really good. Rest, grab some water. Give 15 seconds. Come to the wall. We're gonna do that wall hold. So you're gonna bring yourself 90 degrees torso to the wall, 90 degrees to the knees, and we're gonna hold for 30 seconds, okay? So come in position. Come on, come on, come on. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Really good guys, come on, push yourself into that wall. Make those quads work for your legs. It should be solid. <clears throat> Five, four, three, two, and up. Oh, well done. Grab some water. Next up, grab your mat out. We've got squat jumps. We've got four rounds of this, okay? We're doing 10 squat jumps, five seconds rest. So I'll give you 10. 10 in between each. 10 seconds rest, and then in the push ups, I'm gonna do 10 of those. So, you know, those squat jumps, I come into, oh, and put my feet shoulder width position, and push my bum back to the back of the room in that squat, and I'm jumping. Landing softly. I've got 10 of those, then I'm done on the ground, and I don't mind what kind of push-ups. Your knees are on the ground. Make sure your hands are in line with your chest. They're not above your shoulders. Make yourself in line. Lower that chest to the ground. And up. If you want to do those normal push-ups, great. If you want to do diamond shape push-ups, put your hands together, keep those elbows kept into the torso. I'm gonna try and move them around if you want to join me. I'm gonna do normal. I'm going to do the tri tri dips, and for the last set, I'm going to go a bit wide. So do what you want, but if you can stay with me, then brilliant. Otherwise, go at your own pace. Okay, you ready? Come in position. Let's get those squat jumps. We're doing ten. Come on, three, two, one. In position. Let's go. Down on the ground. In position. You ready? Five, four, three, two, and one. One, two, three, four. Nine, one more. And rest on your feet. Second round. Five seconds, three, two, one. Let's go. Rest, done. In a push up position, diamond shape this time. Oh. Three, two, one, let's go. Three, four.
Two more. And oh, rest on your feet. Third round. Come on. In a position. Squat jumps. Three, two, one. Let's go. Come on, jump higher. Push-ups in position. Down shape again. If you're with me. Three, two, one. Let's do it. wide push-ups. So just slightly wider than my shoulders than I normally would. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Two. Rest. Ooh. Grab some more, guys. Good. Ooh. Okay. Move that mat to one side. Next up, you've got bear crawls. We're going bear crawls for 50 seconds, 10 seconds rest, and then we're going to those. Downward plank, I don't say, downward dogs into cross climbers. Okay, now I know you know what those bear crawls are, but I'm going to show you anyway. Remind you of that form. You're going to be in all fours on your toes, knees are on the ground, uh, above the ground, sorry, as low as they can be, back flat and moving forward. Opening arm to leg, keeping my hips as steady as possible. I'm feeling that already. I'm going for 50 seconds of that, 10 seconds rest, and then we're going at a downward dog cross climb. So you come on your hand in front of you, on your toes in that downward dog position, come from there into plank, bring that right knee across the left, back. Back, down the jog. Same again. That's our recovery. We're going slow. This is the conditioning. Really slow. Now, if you've got sore wrists from this, I'd remind you if you want to grab Tupperware or yoga bricks and use that for the bear crawl. Or use weights if you want to, with the minimal amount of weights on them. It's really like just so you straighten out the wrist to your, uh, wrist to your arm. You can do the same thing when you're in the downward dog if you've got that. Otherwise, you can roll up a towel, put the towel on the ground and hold on to that and grip that and that should straighten out your wrist to arm. All right, okay, I've talked for too long. Too long of a break. Are you ready? Let's come in position. Downward dog, cross climbers and bear crawls. Start with those bear crawls. Three, two, one, let's go. Remember, you don't have to go fast here. Good. 
Okay. Keep it steady. One more time, forward. Back. And rest. Good. Okay. Downward dog. So get in that position. Downward dog position. Let's go. Cross and back. Downward dog. Keep those legs engaged. So whatever support leg you're on, make sure it's tensed. So my left leg is tensed. My back. Right leg is tensed. And rest. Second round, back to those bear crawls. Come on. Let's go. That's it. Keep those hips steady. Move slow until you get that form right. And rest. Woo. Good guys, really good. And a downward dog. Cross climbers. Oh. Roll those shoulders back. In position. Downward dog. Let's go. Breathe out as you bring that knee towards your elbow. To so come position, breathe out. Breathe in. Good. Rest. Good. Woo. One more round, guys. One more round in those bear crawls. You're doing great. Come on. Let's do it. Come on, almost there. And rest. Good. Then we dog, cross climbers. Let's do it. Woo. Let's go. Oh, 
Come on. Uh, almost there. One more time. And rest. Oh. Oh. Oh, really good, guys. Grab some water. Really good. Come on. We've got one cardio section left. Cardio conditioning. Before we go into our abs and stretch. So. We're going to do a low squat to lunge, only doing 30 seconds of it though, and then 10 seconds rest into mountain climbers for 30 seconds. And I know you're rolling your eyes and you're going, oh no, my shoulders and my arms, I know, but you've got to do it. Come on, you've got to force yourself, get that energy, get that strength. I think how great you'll feel afterwards. Especially when you're able to go in and tuck into that lovely little roast dinner or whatever you're having or an Easter egg or whatever treats you've got planned for yourself this weekend, you know that you worked out and you deserved it. Okay, okay. So we're gonna come up. I'm gonna put my mat out. That was low squat lunches. So you know these. I'm coming to that squat. Now, for those squats, I don't mind if you wanna work your glutes more, if you wanna work your bum more. Those legs are wide. And then you bring that leg behind you for those curtsy lunges. Then, if you want what the front of your legs more, we're in that close squat. So the, the sh uh, my feet are underneath my shoulders. And then I bring those knees down. <sighs> Try and mix it up. Save the wide ones for the end when you're knackered and work those quads to begin with. Then you're down on the ground. You're gonna do those mountain climbers. Jump out. And you're going to run those feet in. Bring those knees in towards the chest. You want to keep your, your back uh, as still as possible. So when I'm running out, everything stay, try to stay still as possible. I'm not flying everything to try and bring my knees up. If you can't get them up high, that's okay. Slow it down until you can actually get the technique right to bring your knees up while keeping your upper body still. Once your upper body is secure, then you can increase the pace, it's better that you go for quality over quantity every time. So you want to feel those abs working. So when you're going faster, you'll have to increase your breathing. So when that knee comes up, you're breathing out. You're contracting, you're bringing your abs, uh, contracting your abs, allowing your hip flexors to work to bring that knee in towards your chest. So remember that breathing. Okay, because it's your friend. Let's come in position, 30 seconds. Low squat lunges. Let's do it. Come on. Three, two, one. In position. Let's go. That's it. One more. And rest. Down on the ground. Mountain climbers. Come on. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's run. Rest. Up. Good. Round two. We're only doing three rounds of this, guys. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Keep those bombs pushed back. 
My hips and my back are at 45 degrees. Rest. Down. Mountain climbers. Oh. Ready? Get in position. Three, two, one. Let's run. Good. So you slow down there. My technique was off, so I had to slow down to get it right. Last time. Come on. Down. Stay low. That's it. On the ground. Mountain climbers. Three, two, one. Let's go. Rest. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, grab some water, guys. Uh, really good. Okay. I'm coming to that favorite time. Come into abs. Okay. Woo. So, we've got three exercises for you. We've got circle leg raises, we've got star toe tap, and I've got plank. Opposition knee. You know all these exercises. So, I'm going to start on the ground. Hands either side of me. My shoulders are rotated back. So, if you're not sure, just bring them up to your ears, bring them back and down. Hands, palms on the ground. Stretch your feet out. Now, for this exercise, feel your lower back into the ground. Extend those legs, feel how they're engaged, my feet are flexed. I'm working those legs, I'm really tensed. I'm gonna bring them up for that leg raise, and down. They are tensed all the way through it. It's not just getting it up, that's no good. I need you to keep those legs tensed. You're, gonna be able, you're not gonna be able to do as many, but the quality is gonna be so much better. And that's what we want, we want to be working those abs. So again, extend those legs out, lower backs in the ground, keep those legs. Extended, stretched out, engaged. Big circles. We'll do that for 50 seconds, as many as you can at 50 seconds, 10 seconds rest. Then, we're doing that start toe tap. So I'm coming in. Again, keep my feet as flexed as possible. Holding that at the top. Breathing out. Now, I don't mind if that's too much and you can't do that, your knees bent. And when you put your hands out, knees bent into yourself and bring that elbow in. And use that. Remember to hold that squeeze and breathe out as you squeeze. So you're contracting, allowing those muscles to work. You don't have to fight against your breathing. Okay, that for 50 seconds. And then we're coming to a plank opposition knee. And we just hold that plank. And I bring my right knee in. Lift up. And I bring that knee to elbow. I've got a slight twist 
in my body, but my legs are engaged. Same again, they are engaged all the way through these ab exercises. Really feel those quads engaging. Feel them, what's the word, tensing. That's the word I'm trying to think of. Feel them tensing, really engaging, because that's what's going to bring up. Those legs are the strongest muscles, you want to work them up. Use them to help you build your abs. Okay, let's start off those circle leg raises. We're doing 50 seconds of each exercise, 10 seconds rest between each, and we're doing three rounds. Do what you can, take those rests when you need to. But we're doing this. Woo. Three, two, one, in position. Let's go. Good. Halfway. Good. And rest. Good. Start toe taps. In a position, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Rest. 10 seconds. Over. Oh, that was hellish. Point to opposition knee. Let's go. Keep those bums down. Ten seconds. Rest. Oh. Flip over. Circle leg races. Are you ready? Oh, this abs feel tired. Come on, do what you can. Let's go. Remember you're breathing. Ten seconds. One more. And rest. Oh. Okay. Start toe taps, guys. Do what you can. I'm doing them in fours. Okay. Let's go. Oh. 
Come on. Do this, do this, just get, come on. Ah, oh, the rest. Ah, oh, flip over. Ah. Oh. Bloody hell. This is oh, hellish. Okay. Let's go. time guys oh come on last time oh uh, three two one let's do it there. Oh, come on! And rest. Oh. Start to tap. God, I hate this one. Oh. Come on. Do what we can. Let's go. Pie ready, waiting for me. Not gonna get up. Uh, 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 ten seconds. Come on. Ah, uh, rest. Flip over. Oh. Uh, Do this. Come on, come on, come on. In position. Let's go. Keep those bumps down. seconds. And rest. Oh, well done. Oh, grab some more guys. 15 seconds rest. And then we'll go in a stretch. Really good. Excellent work. Ah, oh, okay. Remember, we're going to do that cobra stretch. So lower your hips towards the ground. Body's on the ground. Hands either in line with your chest or just in front of you. And push yourself off, away from the ground. 
keep those hips in the ground and try and straighten those arms while keeping the hips in the ground. Shoulders down and back. Relax. Slowly lower yourself back down to the ground. And again, one more time. Remember to keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Good. Push up into child's pose. Sit back into the heels. Hands in front of you. Stay in this position. Search your right hand underneath. Try and bring that shoulder to the ground. Still sitting into your heels. Switch sides. Come back up into that cobra. Good. Come on to all fours. Arch your back. Throughout that cat stretch. And release. Cat stretch. And release. Again, pull that belly button up towards the spine. Breathe out. Breathe in. Good. Bring your right foot forward, left knee on the ground, kneeling hip flexor stretch, and lean into it. Good. Grab your left wrist, pull over. Relax back. And switch legs. Bring it forward. Good. Drop your right wrist. Pull over. Really good, guys. We've got to keep breathing. In through the nose. Out through the mouth, lights back. Good. Come onto your back. Really good. Bring your right knee in towards your chest. Extend the left leg back. And take that leg out. Open up the hip. Good. Ready, extend that leg up, grab behind your thigh, and extend. Really good. Flex that foot. Remember, as you're stretching, breathe out. So as you breathe out, you're bringing that leg closer to you. Good, back down, bring that knee across your body, right hand on the ground, look to your right. Back to the centre, let's change leg. Again, opening up that hip, take that left leg, out, back to the centre, and extend. Good.
down, bring it over your body. Look to the left. Back to the centre, bring your knees in towards your chest and roll that lower back into the ground. Another direction. Good. Put your left foot on the ground, bring your right foot over the left and grab behind your left thigh and pull and stretch. Try and push your right knee away from you. You feel that stretch down the back of your glutes. You should feel that in your bum. Remember, breathe out as you stretch. So pull in, breathe out. So you're breathing through that stretch. Good. Relax. Switch leg. Bring the left leg over the right. Good. Oh, that feels good. Hands either side. We're doing that glute bridge. Feet firmly planted on the ground and squeeze your bum up towards the sky. Slowly lower down. Good. Rotate the hips back and again squeeze up to the top. One more time. Hold that squeeze at the top. Can you get your bum any higher? Slowly lower it to the ground, really slowly. Feel each vertebra in your back slowly pushing into the ground. Your bum is the very last thing that comes down. Good, extend the legs up, out, sorry, and reach. Remember, keep your shoulders down and back and reach above. Flex those feet. Good. And bring that right leg in towards your groin and reach towards the left. Flex the foot. Good. Our leg. Good. Bring your knees to get our feet together. Push those knees away. And just down. Alexa, stop. <laughs> just never understands. <laughs> just always definitely good. Put your feet wide and lean forward. Flex those feet. Good. Good. 
Do it one more time. Breathe out and reach. Good. Come back. Put your right foot forward. Both hands on the ground and straighten out that back leg. Good. Sit your bum into it. Really engage those legs. Now lower yourself to the ground. Good. Left arm on the ground and reach up. Good. Back. Stuff up. Straighten both legs. Good. Put both hands on the ground. Lift the left leg off the ground. Bring it in. And out. In. Out. Three. Four. Back. Turn it out into that deep lunge. Moving yourself over to the other side. Use your hands if you have to, that's fine. Hello. Sorry, I've got a creeping cat. Good. Both hands on the ground, sit into the hip. Straighten out that back leg. Now lower yourself to the ground. Good. And reach. Good. Come up, straighten both legs. Turn your feet facing forward, hang down. Straighten both legs. As you breathe in, come up, breathe out and get a little bit lower. Bring your knuckles to the ground, come on. Let your head go. One more time, get a little bit lower. Good. Grab your left foot, uh, right foot with your left hand, or your right, or your, your right ankle and reach. Switch sides, gently grab your left wrist, left ankle, good God, and twist. Good. Now let your head go and just gently sway from side to side. Swing up into that right side stretch. Good. On the side. Good. Swing back. Now both hands. Keep the shoulders down. Hold that balance. One more time. Good. Feel that in the obliques. And roll up. Head's the last thing to come up. And shoulder roll back for me. One. One more. And forward. Four. Three. Two. 
and one. Grab your right wrist, pull over. Same on the other side, left wrist, pull. Grab your right wrist above you, pull. Other side. Bring those knees up. Shake out your body. Well done guys, excellent work. Happy Saturday. I worked really hard today, especially when we're all a bit tired. If you've got any questions about anything, about any muscles that you feel that you want to work a bit, bit more, or you feel you're not getting a full stretch out, or some of the exercises you feel like you aren't getting the most out of it that you think you should, then drop me a message. Happy to help anything or any questions, answer any questions that you feel you may have. Okay, we're back next week. Have an amazing Easter. Uh, eat, drink, and be merry. Uh, please send your post workout selfies at Blaze Bootcamp 100, Facebook and Instagram. Please share, subscribe videos to all your friends and family. Lots of love. Thanks so much for watching, and I shall see you next week. Happy Easter!